so the Texans just released Jalen Strong. Uh, that it's a stupid decision, honestly. You only have four wide receivers now. You signed Andy Jones, who you have no clue what he brings to the table. You have no idea what he does. You cut a guy who actually knows your playbook. He's a good red zone threat, even though we never use him correctly. The guy's talented, but again, we never use him correctly. And I just think it was one of our stupidest decisions ever, or in a while. I mean, you're already down some wide receivers. You already know Wolf Wilder's hurt. Braxton Miller fucking sucks. You know, Bruce Ellington's coming back from a concussion. You know, fucking Federal Woods is on the IR. You know, Griffin and Anderson are both coming back from concussions. Like, why? And we struggle running the ball sometimes. And then you want to cut the only receiver that we have that can consistently block downfield? Hey, come on, man. I think it's honestly a stupid decision. And I'll tell you what. It's going to come back and bite us in the ass. I'll tell you that right now. Because the Colts are in huge need of a wide receiver that can catch. And guess what? Jalen Strong can catch. Or you know who else? The Jaguars just lost Allen Robinson. You know who's built? Kind of like Allen Robinson, Jalen Strong. Or the one I think is actually going to happen. The Patriots are down to three wide receivers. So what's going to happen? Patriots sign Jalen Strong. Jalen Strong plays against his former team a week after he got cut. Jalen Strong tears up his former team. I can already see it. I can already see it. I mean, we're the Texans, man. This type of stuff happens to us. I don't know why we cut him. Could have at least went into the offseason or at least to Wolf Wilder came back. But to cut him right now and pick up Andy Jones, who we have no clue about, that's pretty dumb, honestly. I understand Jalen Strong is not the best route runner, but just throw the ball up to him. He's going to catch it eight times out of ten. That's the type of receiver he is. It's just not a move I was expecting the Texans to make. I just think it's pretty dumb uh, and now he's gonna be a patriot most likely and we're gonna get torn up by him that's just the way things go here in Houston so this move caught me by surprise and uh, I, I don't even know what to say man like I know a lot of people don't like him and Certain people are saying, you know, Jalen Strong's not good, but there's a difference between not being good and not being used properly. And Jalen Strong just wasn't used properly again. But he's a red zone threat, a big body receiver that can go up and catch it. But when are we really in the red zone, man? So I don't know, man. Maybe they saw something in Andy Jones, and Andy Jones can come in and do something good for us. But I. I wouldn't have mind if they waited a bit longer, maybe after the Patriots game, because, <laughs> come on, dude, Jalen Strong knows the Texans playbook. The Texans playbook is pretty much identical to the Patriots playbook. The Patriots need a wide receiver. <laughs> oh, God, it can't get much perfect for the Patriots in this, man. It really can't. I could already see it, man. Uh, get ready for a long Sunday because if Jalen Strong goes to New England, he's going to tear us up. I can already see it. Oh, poor Jalen Strong, man. I, I feel bad for the guy. I always liked him. Former third round pick. So, well, when was he drafted? 14, I want to say. Well, that, that's two busts out of the 14 draft class. Lewis Nixon, now Jalen Strong, I guess. Unless Jalen Strong goes and fucking dominates with New England, which I'm pretty sure he's going to do because Texans. 
So yeah, man. Yeah, those are my thoughts on the whole Jane and Strong cutting. It honestly caught me by surprise. I was not expecting that to happen. So that sucks. Now we have a receiver that can't do shit and Braxton Miller, Hopkins, who for some reason has a drop issues this season. We have Bruce Ellington, who we pretty much have no idea what he can bring to the table. I mean, we saw glimpses of what he could bring to the table during preseason, but until he does it in the regular season, they don't mean much. And of course, we got Andy Jones. Who the fuck is Andy Jones, everybody? Fuck. Anyways, with that being said, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.